Hello, hello, and welcome to the character editor update. We are very proud to share with you finally our Groom update, and I'm gonna showcase you today how it works within our editor tools, and also gonna share a few more features which we included right now with a recent update. Make sure to go to the Epic Games launcher and update the product. Okay, so as mentioned before, we integrated Groom right now. This is gonna working with different components. It's mainly built for the UE5 mannequin to support the metahuman grooms and therefore I'm here now in the metahuman slot and here are a few examples uh, which I extracted from the metahuman creator. These assets will not be part of the submission, we are not allowed to share the data so uh, you have to go to the metahuman creator and export and integrate these um, on your side but I'm going to show you how you set up the data assets and to make these shareable as well between uh, different types of heads. As you can see here, here are also different meta humans head. We support these more natively right now and also the eyes are also supported. As you can see, we can change the scale of the iris, the balance and everything else. Okay, so to say, it's very important that you integrate the meta humans first and then set these up correctly. Therefore, I'm going to showcase you right now what you gotta have to do. First, you go in the character editor branch, then you go to base, data tables, and we added a new version, anatomy profiles v8. In the v8 profile, there are here the different skeleton types which we support, and here is the male version. As you can see, we updated now this and separated it between the body and the head. We also added additional skin material support. I'm gonna open these right now. There's the body and the head. It's very important when you're gonna add a new index, for example, like this, that you're gonna see right now. Per default, the slot is empty. It's very important that you stick to the naming convention um, and copy these over. So body synthesize goes in here and head shader is head shader. This is exactly the naming of the metahuman SK meshes, so to say. When you're gonna take a look at the, gonna take a look at these right now, and I will take a look at this face component. And as you can see here, this is exactly the name which we are looking for. So it's very important that you use these names, and that's the current state of the metahuman creator. There is a chance that this might gonna be changed in the future. Um, when they update the creator, then also these strings need, need to be uh, correctly updated as well. Okay, but there you can feed in new data uh, based on one uh, meta human. We also added the possibility to work here with different face variants. Um, if you wanna put these on a morph target and share just one head, that's in the end up to you how you wanna proceed for your project. Okay, in this example right now, which I prepared here, I added um, different, let me make this bigger that you see it more clear. I added here different um, variations of uh, based from the meta human creator. And these heads are feed in to the system here and they are all based on the tall normal weight body. You could also use a different type, um, but just make sure that the uh, correct assignment of the head is based on the um, proportions on from the body. So don't put an underweight head on a normal weight body, for example. There are options in the material to hide the neckline, uh, but it's not perfect. So I, I, I would definitely recommend to put these in sync. Okay, um, this is about the new updates for the anatomy itself. And this is then applied to the animation blueprint. Okay, therefore, next step, I'm gonna show you what we did with the groom. We added two classes right now, the beard and the head, uh, uh, the hairstyle for the head. We just added these two because I do believe groom is still in development and it's performance heavy still, so to say, uh, to add four groom components, like how they come with the meta human per default, is a little bit of an overhead and it's very important that you um, keep in mind also performance. So if you want to add additional ones, feel free to copy the class, rename it. For right now, we just added beards 
and hairstyles. We do believe uh, that's enough for our purpose. And feel free to add the eyelashes, the fuzz, a second layer of beard if it's needed on your end. Okay, here's an example. I'm gonna open now the uh, groom mohawk. There are two options here. Version one is um, you assign the mohawk, uh, the groom asset itself, and on the binding asset, it's very important that this fits based from the target to the source skeleton, so to say. There might be chances that sometimes the groom does not bind correct to the head. Then you have to make sure to use the proper target skeleton mesh and source skeleton mesh. So where this hairstyle comes from, we just browse to it right now. And this is based from this um, samurai sample here. And then I would use this face mesh as the source skeleton mesh. And if it doesn't bind correctly to a specific new head, then you put this in here, the target skeleton, and then he transfers um, the binding order or the vertex order of the bind meshes. It happens sometimes, uh, but a few hairstyles also work just with one binding. So um, that's meta-human ongoing development. Things might change, and that's the current approach that if it doesn't work, make sure to update the binding assets correctly. And sometimes it does work just with one binding asset. Okay, but it's very important to plug at least one in and that they get bound to the head. If you don't plug something in, it just uh, floats in the air. Okay, as usual, you put in the anatomy, right, for the correct skeleton. Um, then next one is the uh, collection. I use right now um, any collection. Hidden CDA classes, sure, you're gonna wanna hide heads. So with a randomization that don't, any heads are spawned between the groom and the head. Okay, and that's the usual setup. And that's um, the same way as we created da data assets before, right? You make a right click uh, in the free space, not directly on this one. And then, well. to add miscellaneous data asset. And then you can select um, the class. So groom could be a beard or a hat. And then you get an empty slot. I'm gonna take this one right now and it's created. Let's call it meta test. Oh, it doesn't have a focus. There it is. Meta test. And this is now empty as shown before. Um, I do believe I put all these hairstyles already in, but we can take a look if I have, for example, here a different one. Mm -mm -mm. Let's take a look at this one. Oh, it's a side one which I already used. But I showed the workflow already about it. So you would put in now the groom, then you're going to add a binding asset. You go to the corresponding folder of your meta human. You're gonna select the groom binding, and then you're gonna select this one. You're gonna put it in and feed in all the data as mentioned before. Okay, and then we also um, have the possibility to change as well the colors. Um, we're gonna take a look at this right now. So I'm gonna have here right now um, an Asian guy. Um, obviously, and then you can, for example, also the groom component is a very new system and it's very complex, uh, as well the shader behind it. The current version, which comes with the MetaHumans, is V4. So we were looking at this, trying to make it um, in sync and expose the parameters, but it's not easy just to plug and play just one preset parameter and you're gonna tint the hair black, right? Because they have different regions. This is for parts, for highlights, and they do attempt to make it physically correct, which is pretty great. Um, but it makes also the parametric side very complex behind it, so to say. Right now we expose these parameters for you. You can then decide on your end whatever you want to keep um, for your players or for your customer base. Um, you can change these, you can also behind the shader put these together. Um, 
this is then I would say up to you if you want to expose parameters or presets which is pretty common in games these days if you want to just tint the hair so that's a very complex system behind it and it is totally different what customers need in the end so we expose these and you can play around with these and change these as well um, however they um, are needed for you right as you can see here between these you don't have anything in the front and the next hairstyle has a totally different shift here right um, that's the part of the melanin and as shown before this is affecting it here pretty heavy with another hairstyle you can you can it's not clearly visible it's a groom setup and this I just wanted to share with you um, why it's not a simple plug and play one parameter it's complex and feel free to uh, combine these to your preset um, solution how it's needed here as mentioned before we also are in sync now with the uh, meta human um, base setup uh, we changed also we had it with our UE4 skeleton, the similar setup with the body and the head um, separated. And right now we have the possibility to add multiple heads and they're gonna share as well also um, the basic parts of the meta human. Ah, here's a good example. If you see this right now, there's no binding asset. If you see this, it's floating in the air, no binding. Um, I do believe that's maybe the one we added right now, <laughs> but yeah, this uh, can happen and as you can see here and this is the example when the binding doesn't match then it's very important that you clean it up and use the target mesh with a proper um, source mesh in this case most cases it works but sometimes it doesn't work it could be also that it goes completely away with the next update of the meta human creator um, i do believe um, the guys are still doing a lot of things behind it so yeah, and this is about the Groom update. Uh, we also implemented the LOD system. Um, the eye material, as mentioned before, is now uh, in sync with the new standards. This is all working. I integrated as well um, the bikers. They are also integrated right now in the character editor itself. This is all um, fine and working with the different stuff. And Asian armor is also integrated right now the biker setup uh, in the character editor base setup and this is all working as well um, with our current setup also with the uh, um, medieval ones and the heavy armor ones okay that's it from my side from the latest update of the character editor we are looking forward for your feedback and if you have found something feel free to drop us a line and we hope to hear from you soon okay have a great day ciao